Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Brian Ramsey. Hey, good morning out there, guys. I got a live look out of the tower camera showing actually some partly cloudy skies out there at the moment. The sun hasn't risen yet, but it is going to rise soon, and it looks like once it does, it's going to be a mostly sunny morning. So that sunshine will help warm us up. In fact, we're already starting off on a warmer note. There's no rain out there right now, and as we take a look at those temperatures, we're in the 80s right now. 81 in Baton Rouge, 80 in Laplace, 78 in Woodville, 75 in Macomb. So a little cooler out here, but most of our area is sitting much warmer. Uh, this morning over the past couple of days, or compared to the past couple of days in the mid-70s, yesterday we were in the upper 70s, and then this morning we're in the 80s. And it looks like this afternoon we could warm up again. Yesterday we topped off at 94 in Baton Rouge. Today I think we'll hit 95, and other areas also reaching similar temperatures. Amy City with a high of 95. St. Francisville also reaching 95 degrees today. Farther to the south, still going to be hot. Port Vincent with a high of 95. Laplace, 95. Looks like South Vatry could reach 94 degrees today. And that heat is going to be much worse when, in terms of what it feels like out there because the humidity is going to be high. So not only will we see highs in the mid-90s, but it's going to feel like 105 to 110 degrees today because of the humidity. So uh, yeah, you're going to want to stay hydrated if you're heading out the door, at least if you're going to be outside for a long period of time. And if you are exposed to that heat, maybe doing something active, like you have an outdoor job, just remember to take several breaks in the shade or in the air conditioning if you can. The heat advisory is issued for today since we do have the possibility of those heat index values reaching 110 degrees. I don't think we're going to quite get to 110 here in Baton Rouge, but you know, we'll get close, maybe 106, 108. Um, down near New Orleans, that area also under this heat advisory, and so is Lafayette. So whether you're heading to Lafayette today for work or New Orleans, you're still going to be under that heat advisory. Heat index values will stay elevated all the way into the weekend, but that doesn't matter so much. The reason I say that is because it's not going to be hot for a prolonged period of time because we're going to see rain each afternoon, which will help relieve us from that heat. Uh, today, though, no rain expected in Baton Rouge. Could see a couple showers and storms down near New Orleans, uh, Slidell, or the Mississippi coast, but that's about it when it comes to rain chances today, and even that's looking pretty low uh, for a chance. Future Track radar timing out a couple of those showers and storms just to the southeast, which is very similar to what we saw yesterday. And as we go into tomorrow, that's when we have the rain possibly returning in the forecast. Now we're going to have a lot of that rain coming from the north, and that should push through pretty late uh, for tomorrow into Friday morning. That could provide uh, plenty of showers for you, but again, a little bit of a late arrival of that rain for uh, tomorrow. After that, we'll see scattered showers and storms uh, for Friday. Once we get to Saturday and Sunday, isolated storms only, and then back to more spotty coverage of that rain as we start next week. It was originally looking like it was going to be a drier week next week, but things have kind of panned out a little differently in that forecast, so now it is looking like we're going to return to a little bit more of a wetter pattern, but really more of a typical summertime pattern when it comes to that rain. Look at your seven day forecast. We got that high of 95 today. Spotty storms for tomorrow and then more scattered rain on Friday. Those temperatures back into the low 90s because of the rain increasing in coverage. Once we get to Saturday and Sunday, we warm back into the mid 90s as the rain remains isolated, which means you're only going to see a few storms in the area. But we do see spotty pop up storms continuing into next week. As for